Danielle Desi here, and today I'm at the historic Malcolm X and Betty Shabazz Center in New York City, about to meet up with award-winning artist Andrea Arroyo to look at her exhibit, Memories Interlaced, so stay right there. Andrea, tell us a little bit about your exhibit, Memories Interlaced. Memories Interlaced features works that are painting integrated with textiles from around the world. So were these pieces created especially for the Shabazz Center? Yes, I created every piece specifically for the space. I took into consideration the beautiful architectural features of the venue, as well as the historical significance of the recent, and for the community and for me as well as an artist. And why did you choose to paint on textiles? I call it a collaboration, an involuntary collaboration with the artisans that actually make these fabrics and my own painting. In a way, honoring the work of these people who sometimes are anonymous because, you know, they create crafts that we use. But I think their work is just amazing and we need to honor that work and also make that connection between different kinds of artists. They're all so beautiful. Where did these textiles come from? Have any of them been used before? Yes, all of them are used. All of them were given to me by the women in my circle, friends, family, colleagues. They even have more significance because they belong to somebody else uh, and they are used. I, I wanted that feeling of, of something that is used, also with the idea of recycling and reusing something. Uh, I have textiles from India, from Mexico, from Guatemala, and from Indonesia. And I also have paintings on lace uh, from Belgium and from France. Can you give us some background on a specific piece here at the show? Okay, so one of them is uh, titled Ischel, and she's the goddess of uh, the rivers and knowledge in the Mayan uh, mythology. And I made that integrated with a Guatemalan textile that is uh, maybe from 1950, that is called a corte. And uh, they are traditionally uh, woven by men in Guatemala, and they're used as skirts by the Mayan people there. So I am very, very thrilled and honored to have this hand made textiles integrated with one of my paintings. As many people know, the Shabazz Center is the site of the assassination of Malcolm X. How did knowing the history of this place affect your creative process? Okay, so first of all, it's an honor for me to be showing here. This venue is not usually used for contemporary art. So when I came in with a proposal, I have this idea of first honoring the space and also a little bit of integrating the historical value of the venue with contemporary life. So that connection is very important to me. And also the idea of bringing together the male and female energy of the space. Betty Shabazz was also very, very important, a very important leader. She was incredibly smart and kind. So that idea of remembering our leaders from the past uh, in everyday life is very important. Andrea, you always do amazing work and Memories Interlaced is some of your best yet. Where can people find out more about your art? Well, I have a website, www.andrearroyo.com. Please come visit, yes, and contact me if you need to. I have Facebook and I have LinkedIn. Feel free to contact me and link me. Andrea Arroyo's exhibit, Memories Interlaced, can be seen at the Shabazz Center in New York City through January 31st. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our website, awakeninspirecreate.com. See you next time.